when the arthritis only affects one of the three compartments, unicompartmental arthroplasty is a choice. In a partial or uni, what is done is only to replace that portion of the arthritic joint which is affected by the process. So in that case, we're able to preserve the cruciate ligaments, the collateral ligaments, and the healthy part of the joint, and only repaired the damaged portion of the joint by cementing in place a femoral component and a partial tibial component, impacting it, putting in a plastic surface, and giving you the high performance of a unicompartmental, allowing you to ride the bike, ski, bowl, play golf. Partial or unicompartmental knee replacement, what is done is to repair only the damaged portion of the joint. In this representation, you see that the blue is representing the healthy, normal articular cartilage, and the discoloration and the pothole are illustrative of a damaged knee from a unicompartmental process. This might have been the result of a trauma or an arthroscopic procedure or an open arthrotomy in which the meniscus was moved 20, removed 20 or 25 years ago. In knee resurfacing, we maintain the integrity of the ligamentous structure both the collateral ligaments and the anterior and posterior cruciate ligaments. We only resurface the disease compartment of the joint. This allows very rapid recovery and ultimately a very high level of function. The latter can be achieved in up to three weeks if you work hard prior to surgery through prehabilitation and after the surgery in rehabilitation. But no matter what type of knee joint you are going to choose, it is incumbent on in you to stay fit for a lifetime. It's not enough to just do six weeks of post-operative surgery, rehabilitation. It's necessary to, for you to enjoy good health and fitness the rest of your life. Here you see the post-operative status where the partial knee replacement has been done. You see the motion, the new gliding surface of the metal on plastic, the plastic embedded in a cemented tibial tray. Uh, this is going to allow you to return to a highly active lifestyle, and I would anticipate, based on our scientific data, that you can enjoy somewhere between 10 to 12 years of survivorship of this construct before you would have to have it uh, restored by a total knee replacement.